All right, today we're going to be graphing polynomials in our graphing calculators and determining the key features, the minimum, maximums, and the x-intercepts from that. We've done something similar with quadratics, so a lot of this should be review. So I'm going to go over how to do letter A and then have you try letter B. So in our graphing calculator, we're going to graph this function. So remember, we're going to press y equals and then x to the fourth power. So you press the key above the divide symbol and then type 4. You need to make sure to press the right arrow key then plus 3x raised to the third power. Press the right arrow key minus x squared minus 4x minus 5. And I always like to make sure my zoom is down here at standard. And you can see that we have two x-intercepts, two minimums, and one maximum. So we'll walk through how to find all of that. We're going to press second, trace, and to find the x-intercept, that is a zero. And when it says left bound, that means we need to move our cursor, the flashy thing, to the left side of the zero. So I just pretend that there's a vertical line right here and I need to be on the left side of it. Right now my cursor is, so I'm going to hit enter. Then I got to move my cursor to the right side of it. There, you know, there's my x-intercept, and I want to be on the right side of it. Hit enter, and we want it to guess. So our first x-intercept is negative 3.07 comma 0. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second um, x-intercept. So second trace, go down to zero. Now we have to move over to the left side of the second x-intercept. So pretend there's a vertical line here, press enter, then move over to the right side, press enter, and enter again because we want it to guess. So we get positive 1.42 comma zero. So those are the two x-intercepts. Now the local maximum, if we go back and look at our graph, we have a maximum right around here, like um, closer to the y-axis. So press second trace and go down to the fourth one, maximum. Again, I pretend that there's a vertical line right here, so I need to move to the left of that maximum value. So there, enter. Now it says right bound, so I need to move to the right of that. Okay. Enter, and I want it to guess, so enter again. So our minimum, and we're going to run to, this, uh, to two decimal places, our minimum is negative 0.65, so negative 0.65 comma negative 3.47. Okay. Now back to the graph. To find the minimums, we have two of them, so we're going to find them each separately. The second trace, and it doesn't matter which one you find first. So we want to be to the left of this minimum, so pretend there's a vertical line, hit enter, move to the other side. Oops. And I try to get close, you don't have to be exact but you do want to get close to it. So again, I'm now on the right side of that. Hit enter, guess. So our minimum, one of them is negative 0.68. Okay. Sorry, positive 0.68 comma 7.03. So those are the coordinates of one of the minimums. And now I'm going to find the coordinates of the other one. So second trace, minimum. I'm going to go to the left of it. Enter. Go to the right. Enter. Because their minimum's right here. We want to go to the left and right of that. Hit enter guess, 
and then that is our second minimum, negative 2.28 comma, negative 9.61. So yeah, these are not values that you normally would just guess or be able to find without the graphing calculator. So go ahead and try letter B. Uh, type that into your calculator and then figure out what your x-intercepts would be, your minimums and maximums, if you have them. Uh, so, JJ, yours is on the purple one on the far side, and then Miranda uses right here. All right, so these are the answers you should have calculated. If you were off by like a hundredth here and there, that's sometimes uh, that sometimes happens, and that's okay, but your answer should be around that. So then example number two, what we're doing is we're going to have a piece of cardboard that's 15 inches by 12 inches, and we're going to be cutting x by x squares out of each corner. And once we do that, we're going to be folding this thing up to make a, an open face box. We're going to make a box out of this piece of cardboard. But we need to figure out the dimensions because we want to figure out what is the maximum vo volume we could create by cutting out these x's. So one of the dimensions is going to be 12 minus 2x. And the reason for that is because this whole side here is 12, and we're taking an x here and an x there. So the volume is going to be 2, sorry, 12 minus 2x. Another dimension is going to be 15 minus 2x, because that whole bottom uh, dimension is 15 and we're cutting two squares out of it, the front and back. Now, when we fold this up, the height is going to be whatever we cut out in the square of the square, whatever um, dimension square we cut out. So the height is going to be x. And in case you have forgotten, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, the volume of a box is length times width times height. So we have those things now. We're going to type this into the calculator, just like that, and find the maximum va value. And we will most likely have to um, change our window. So when I do that, you see that we need, we need to find out what's going on up here. So I'm going to adjust my window and I'm going to go really large. Let's go 200 and see if that gives us anything. Okay, we see the maximum right here. So let's second trace, calculate that maximum. So the vertex here is 2.21, 2.21 comma 177.23. That means the maximum volume is 177.23 uh, units. Oh, inches is our units. Inches. And that happens when we cut out a square that is 2.21 inches. So on the next page, how long should you make the cut? The x value, 2.21 inches. That will give me the max maximum volume. Now what should the dimensions be? Well, the length or one of the dimensions is 12x or 12 minus 2x. So length equals 12 minus 2x. The width was 15 minus 2x. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you labeled the length and width different than I did. And the height is just going to be x, which is 2.21. Um, I'm going to type in the others in my calculator. Twelve. 
12 minus 2 times 2.21. That's 7.85. Sorry, I think it was 5.8. Yeah, 5.8. And then 15 minus 2 times uh, 2.21 is 10.58. So those are the dimensions for this box. So I hope that this was a good refresher. Like I said, we've talked about these things before, uh, these uh, calculator tools. So if you need to, you know, just go back and review this video, go back and review the other video uh, as well. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.